Hi there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV at the NAPI conference in Las Vegas. I recently had the chance to sit down with Laurel Bernard. She is the SVP of marketing at Fox, and she talked about a number of things that Fox has done to harness all of the viral activity and excitement surrounding the show Glee, including an online casting call that starts very soon. So Laurel, tell us about some of the new marketing initiatives that you have going on that intersect with the digital realm, things that are going on with Glee. So we just announced that we're going to do an open casting call. Um, it's still being figured out, but Ryan Murphy likes to call it the first dramatic interactive television show because now we're going to actually reach out through the digital audience and encourage people who are fans of the show to um, send in their casting, you know, send in their script reading, send in their song, and um, they are going to have a team of people that are going to review every single submission. And so uh, we're working on um, how that's all going to you know, play out, what platforms we're going to use, and how we're going to let people know that we're doing it. But we did announce it at our TCA, and it's already kind of making its way through the internet with people wanting more information about how they can how they can, you know, be involved. This show has been such a good example of digital marketing done right. It's it's captured an incredible fan base, and a lot of that has come from Twitter, has come from social media, from spreading the word. Walk us through a couple examples of what you have done with Glee and what you have just kind of let happen let on its happen. own, because that's part <laughs> of what you have to do. Absolutely. It's definitely, um, you know, you give, and then you need to let it receive for a while, and then, and then it starts to give back, you know, so... We've been so fortunate because we've had so much access to the cast and to the, you know, to, in their shooting schedule, they've given us a lot of leniency to be able to really get to know them as people and as actors. And so um, we've been able to p just put a lot of content that we normally just don't have access to out, uh, you know, through the various obvious ways. You know, we put it on our Facebook. Um, sometimes we shoot things that's exclusive for the fan base and give it to them as like a little gift. But everything gets a lot of um, push right away. We see people sending it to their friends and commenting on it. And we've had this amazing thing happen on YouTube where people are actually um, using, the, like, using the music from the show in the background, and then they sing their version. And they like learn all the hand gestures. They learn the choreography. And they're kind of doing their version of the Glee version of that song. So if you think about it, it's kind of like we're already you know, taking these famous songs and making a Glee version, and then people are emulating the Glee version. It's really fun. Are there any best practices that you can take away from this show and apply to other new shows that are launching or to existing shows in terms of uh, best harnessing digital marketing efforts? Um, I think that what we're all feeling like now is that you really need to take advantage of all of the media, all the mediums, excuse me. So the best way for the digital marketing to really um, take hold and really expand your audience is to give them some relevant touch points in other media. So it's like we were able to launch the pilot um, in, in May last year, and then we didn't show anything else until the fall when it came on. And by doing something like that, we were able to have a reference point of people who'd actually seen the pilot and had interacted with it in some way. And so then later on in the summer, when we started to plant seeds and do things virally and you know, across, the, across the internet space, people could turn to somebody and they'd be like, oh yeah, I saw that show, I, you know, and I love that show, and you can go to Hulu and see that show. And so by just by sort of having that option where it wasn't just a very vertical sort of digital uh, you know, digital whatever experiment or, or digital seating. It's like, I think it works best if you can kind of cross cross it across different media types of that.